What is going on my broskies? My name is Toadski back again here to bring you guys yet another One Piece Treasure Cruise video. Now today we got some pretty crazy news. This was something that we weren't really expecting, but it is a welcomed addition to the game, which is going to be something titled as the Super Pirate Rumble. We're going to talk all about it in today's video. Now there are still some things we don't entirely know, but we know a lot about what's coming up here and essentially this is the next pirate rumble season and a lot of people had pointed out that you know the next pirate rumble season was it should have been coming out we don't have a data download for the next free to play character that we're going to be receiving via pirate rumble and this is the reason why is because of this event coming out and we'll talk more about it as we go but this is pretty crazy and definitely unexpected that's for damn sure so let's go to the notice of the admins first because we have a lot more information here to talk about so it's starting march 13th goes until april 10th so april 10th is like the final day of championship so keep that in mind super pirate rumble is here and it is a competition to test your strength with your rivals in treasure cruise in super pirate rumble you'll compete in a worldwide personal ranking of Japanese version and global version users combined earn super rumble points to get great rewards and there's going to be obviously some things regarding that aim to get amazing rewards while rising the ranks by winning championships so about the seasons and phases so it's still going to be maintaining the same structure of being block a b and c however it says that rival matches have two phases per season qualification block and obviously the championship but the thing about it is is typically you just want to you know guarantee your spot in the championship rank top 5000 in block a b and c and that's typically it however in this brand new season you actually want to be playing as much as you possibly can in almost all of the blocks because you actually get points for your alliance because this is going to be working with your alliance as well so here are the set dates here in terms of when each of these things are going live for block abc and the championship or the exhibition of course now ranking and super rumble points for this super pie rumble you will be competing in the following three rankings based on the earned super rumble points the alliance ranking compete in a ranking of total super rumble points earned by each pirate alliance within the global version and then there is a worldwide personal ranking ranking as well between all players on Japan and on the global side of the game. There's also the worldwide alliance ranking as well. Use trusty characters to boost the amount of super rumble points that you earn in a super pirate rumble and it, it talks more about which characters are boosted here but it says furthermore you get 10 times more super rumble points in exhibition and 12 times in championship. So you actively want to be in championship because every match you just get more points for being in it. So if all of your alliance members are in the championship you're going to be earning way more points comparatively to some members that might be in exhibition so definitely rally your troops together to get ready for some hardcore farming this time around additionally there will be an alliance mission that counts the number of participation of your pirate alliance so there's going to be additional rewards regarding that and there's going to be an event site regarding this as well but we don't know where that's going to show up but there will be an event site about it as well probably just similar to the other blitz websites that we've had in the past earn tons of points to get more rewards Awards. During the exhibition and championship period, you will not be able to create, disband, or leave it a pirate alliance. You can join a pirate alliance during this period. Alliance ranking rewards will be distributed based on the pirate alliance. So pretty typical stuff. Now, in terms of the characters that are actually boosted, it says trusty characters adds one point for your super rumble points per character that you have on your rumble team. All pirate rumble sugo fest only characters, and it does say it does include legend characters that are also pirate rumble rare recruits so it's talking about eneru borsalino all of those types of units kuma obviously it's talking about all of those units plus any pvp rare recruit you know like rebecca and toy soldier the strength law strength kaku sai smoothie sai gaban quick stussy all of those pvp rare recruits add one additional point for every match you play so keep that in mind. You probably ideally want to be using those units. And remember that every point you get in championship is multiplied by 12. So it's going to be stacking up pretty heavily. You want to be running as many of those as possible. But you do have to balance it out because you do actually want to win the matches as well. So you can definitely build a team in such a way where you have like four legends, four PvP rare recruits. That's probably the best way to do it. Um, I think that's probably going to be the, the most ideal way forward for this. So pretty interesting that's the way that they're doing it they're not actually listing a bunch of different units that are boosted which i think is actually a good thing because i think a lot of people probably have at least one pvp rare recruit that they can use at least on the bench which should add some more points right 
So either way, I think it's actually not an awful thing. But it does actually mention here, applicable characters will be updated on this notice. So it looks like there may be some additional characters. I wouldn't be shocked if another PvP banner comes out before the championship series that in introduces a new PvP legend. I mean, this might be the opportunity where they finally release that Boa Hancock character. It could be. It could most definitely be. In terms of the actual ranking rewards, it does mention here first to third place, you get certain titles, you know, it's just the title stuff. It's, it's pretty similar to all the Blitz battles in terms of the rewards that we get. So the Worldwide Alliance rewards, you get berries at, for, your, for your bounty, of course, and also some rainbow gems. There is the Alliance ranking rewards for the global version specifically, which is again, more bounty and rainbow gems. And then there is the Alliance mission rewards, which just basically gives you more rumble scrolls. It's nothing that exciting. I wish they kind of added a bit more to this. Um, I, I, I do assume at this point as well that if you, you know, reach the last level of participating 100 times, I assume you get all of the previous rewards as well. So I guess that actually gives you a lot of rumble scrolls. I'm actually probably not that mad about that. That's, that's, that's completely okay. So that does appear to be about it from the notice from the admins. But then if we click the read more tab under the Kuzan banner, it gives us a bit more information about the event. So we click the upcoming tab at the top, it says March 13th to April 10th. And it does feature characters appearing on Pirate Rumble, V2 Kuzan. No, so it is very strange. We're going to get to this in a moment, but V2 Kuzan is going to be classified as a free-to-play character. Can you believe it? And right here at the bottom, Pirate Rumble character information. Participate and win multiple times in this Super Pirate Rumble to recruit Sugo Fest exclusive Aokiji, Fateful Struggle to the Death. So that is this character right here. You actually get this character by playing this season of Pirate Rumble. Can you believe it? So this character is going to be classified as free to play at this point. One thing that is still on our minds is, is this character going to be the next Super Evolution character? I sincerely hope so. Remember that on the treasure map, this character is a 1.35 point booster out of the blue, out of nowhere. And this is kind of the reason why, if you do actually play a lot of Pirate Rumble as soon as it comes out, you can actually get this guy and then you can use him in the treasure map. That's absolutely fantastic. He's okay. He has a pretty okay character. Captain. Definitely not the best though in terms of multipliers. It's very low Special ability though is very good and if you have the right team around him He can be very useful So I think with a super evolution this unit could be absolutely phenomenal and in PvP as well Like he's not the best in PvP But he's definitely like usable because you look at his passive here quick and side characters get level 6 speed and level 3 defense With a 6 plus this could be even better than what it already is the special ability definitely needs the the more tweaking though with a super evolution 30 7 CT for what he does with a 1400 fixed damage and then he gives strength and int type enemies some debuffs so I think that if they reduced the CT of this they increased the amount of damage and potentially I mean I think probably the debuffs could be the same but I think definitely that the damage needs to increase and the CT needs to decrease if they did that that would be awesome and that would make him a very very usable character on a quick or a side PvP team so they also have this informational thing about the rules for the upcoming season and it does mention in every single block that strength characters are going to get some type of buff which I think is interesting due to the fact that Boa Hancock the one that we are assuming is going to be arriving at some point. We think it's going to be a strength unit because we have had Boa Marigold and Boa Sandazonia both being strength characters. Makes a lot of sense if the Boa Hancock that they are planning to release, at least we think at this point, is also strength. So I think this kind of also gives us more evidence to why we think this. Um, but interestingly enough, Int characters are also getting a buff, Free Spirit characters are getting a buff, uh, and Powerhouse characters are getting a buff in the Championship and Exhibition. So a very interesting rule set, very, very excited for it though. And these characters have reduced cost for this upcoming Pyre Rumble season as well. And interestingly enough, Marigold is also listed there. So, I mean, look, I do think Boa Hancock is eventually going to be arriving. I think it definitely has to be a legend at this point. Uh, I'm, I'm excited to see what they what they're gonna do, man. I I feel like Boa Hancock's probably gonna have like a crazy point boost in this uh, in this event too. I don't know. I think it could be crazy. I just hope that you know with this Pyro Rumble season, Kizuna is going to be coming. You know, after the treasure map, this season is still going to be active. I think it'd be epic if Kuzan did get a super evolution to make it just a really awesome character that 
everyone can get their hands on by playing the, the Super Pirate Rumble, and they can have a really powerful unit that could be used in quick and side teams, that would be awesome. But that is all of the information that we currently have right now for the Super Pirate Rumble, which is going to be debuting tomorrow as of this video going live. So thank you very much for watching this video today. And if you guys did enjoy it, make sure you go ahead and leave a like. And if you want to stay up to date with all of the content that I post on my channel, including more One Piece Treasure Cruise content, make sure to hit the subscribe button down below. But other than that, guys, I'll see you guys within the next video.